بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الصادق الأمين وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد Indeed our praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator, the sustainer and the controller of all that happens in the universe and we invoke his peace and blessings upon his noble messenger the truthful, the trustworthy one his family, his companions, and all those who follow them in righteousness until the end of time. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I know the past two days have been very cold. And maybe we have to endure some more cold days, but inshallah it will get better. Uh, nevertheless, we will continue with our discussion on the life of Isa alayhi salam exploring the Islamic perspective of certain aspects of the life of this great messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we talked about his birth, we talked about his mother's birth, his own birth, and the number of miracles that unfolded while he was alive. And finally, after years of preaching to his people and inviting them back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some of the people at his, uh, of his time decided to kill him. And of course, this is one of the areas or one of the aspects in which the Muslim's perspective differ completely with the Christian's perspective. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in two ayats in Surah An-Nisa, two verses in Surah An-Nisa addresses this issue of Isa alayhi salam, his prophet and messenger, whether he was killed and whether or not he was crucified. Here is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. And in this ayah, verse 157 of Surah An-Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the claim that the people of his time made, those who were trying to kill him, they, a claim they made. Allah says, وَبِقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ عِيسَى إِبْنَ مَرْيَمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ Allah says, and they're saying in boast, وَبِقَوْلِهِمْ And they're saying in boast, إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ Surely, and they used emphasis, surely we killed the Messiah. And just in case there were two people who were known as the Messiah, they said, Isa. And just in case there are two people who are the Messiah, who are Messiahs plus their name is Isa, they said, Ibn Maryam, the son of Maryam. And just in case, despite how highly improbable it might be that two people they have the same first name and their mother's name are the same and they don't have fathers they said Rasulullah the people they wanted others to know that they had killed this man Jesus this man who claimed to be the messenger of Allah so they said وَبِقَوْلِهِمْ as Allah says وَبِقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ عِيسَى بِنَا مَرْيَمَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ and they're saying in both, surely we killed or we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. So no one can dispute exactly who is this person who was killed. But what is interesting here as a side note, brothers and sisters, is that the people of his time did not consider him the son of God. Notice they said he is messenger of Allah, Rasul Allah. He claimed to be the messenger of Allah. So in his time, while he was alive, alayhi salam, no one claimed that he was the son of God, or that he was God, or part God, or he had divine qualities. This claim would come about later. It would come about later. As a, and as some comparative scholars, scholars of comparative religion have mentioned, among them, Shaykh Ahmadi, that may Allah have mercy on him, 
there is no statement even in the Bible that in itself has been tampered with but we can still take it in its form as it is today even after it was tampered with they say that there is no verse no statement with Jesus alayhi salam ever said I am God worship me there are other people who attribute this to him so others might say of him that he is God and worship him but he himself the words that I am God worship me or I am the son of God does not exist even in the Bible that is tampered with but it is interesting even uh, in his life the people considered him not the son of God but based on his claims at least the messenger of Allah and that's why they mentioned it here surely we have killed the Messiah Jesus the son of Maryam the messenger of Allah this is their claim here is what Allah says in reply to this in refuting this claim and they did not kill him nor did they crucify him so he was never Isa alayhi salam was never ever captured and nailed on the cross and as a result dying from that the Quran is clear Allah says and those who differ about what actually happened they themselves are in doubt about what happened because they have no clear evidence to prove one way or, the no or another so they're just guessing they do not have sure knowledge all they do is they guess they make assumptions you see brothers and sisters the assumption is the human assumption is If a number of people were in this masjid and the security forces were to come in and surround this building and some of them were to come in the human assumption is it's highly unlikely the person who they're looking for who is in the building it's highly unlikely he can escape highly unlikely he can escape so the assumption is he had to be captured but Allah says that the people who differ about this they are just dealing with with dhan, with guesswork with assumptions they don't have no sure knowledge except except that they're following conjecture or guessing assumptions and then allah ends this ayah this is verse 157 and surely yaqeenan of a surety they did not kill him now when the Muslim says this to a Christian the Christian will have certain objections first of all they will say listen it's impossible I mean, how is it possible that he could escape when the security forces had come and surrounded the, the building and, and, and you know they entered the building <laughs> how is it possible that he escaped but you see for, for, for the Muslim brothers and sisters for us the answer is very simple and straightforward look at it his birth is miraculous السلام, he spoke as a little infant to clear the name of his mother that's another miracle then in his life as a messenger in preaching to people he performed a number of miracles and finally at the end when the people plotted to kill him Allah the exalted the creator he saved his messenger in a miraculous manner also it's amazing that his whole life you know the beginning his birth started with a miracle and his whole life is full of miracles and right at the end when the people try to kill him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would save him and rescue him in a miraculous manner so the first objection a Christian person will have is okay first of all it's not possible our answer to that is look Allah has power over all things what's your problem 
If you believe that God could create Jesus without a, a human father, period, then why is it difficult for you to believe that God Almighty has the power to, to remove him from the midst of the people? It shouldn't be difficult to accept that. Now the other argument they will raise is the Quran says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُ they did not kill him, they did not crucify him, but it was made to appear to them that they did. Should be halal. So the Christian will ask you and I, well, what happened then? If you guys are claiming that Jesus was never captured and crucified on the cross, what happened then? Now, the people who came to capture Isa alayhi salam, based on the historical historical accounts, they did capture somebody. And that somebody definitely looked very much like Isa alayhi salam. Because these people, from their perspective, they believed 100% that they had captured Jesus alayhi salam. That's why they said, Abdullah says, وَبِقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ عِيسَى بِنَا مَرْيَمَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ they believed that it was Jesus, peace be upon him. But the Quran says it wasn't him. So what happened then? It must mean then, therefore, that someone else, Allah caused someone else to look like Jesus. And that is the person they captured and they nailed on the cross. Because they believed they had captured Jesus. And if the resemblance was far off, they would know that this isn't Jesus. Even if we assume in those days there weren't electricity. And so in the nighttime, in the darkness, in the dim light, they captured someone who may have looked like Jesus, but it wasn't. The next day, when it was daylight, they would have realized. They would see that the man on the cross is not Jesus at all. So it must mean that whoever they captured must look very much like Isa alayhi salam. That's why Allah says it was made to appear to them. So they did capture somebody. They did nail someone on the cross. But it wasn't the messenger of Allah alayhi salatu was salam. Now, they might ask us, well, who is that person? The correct answer is, we do not know. Some people claim it is Judas because supposedly he betrayed Isa alayhi salam by leading the, the Roman uh, uh, soldiers to him. But there is no evidence in the Quran or the Sunnah to support that it was this particular individual. So who is this person? We don't know. But the Quran says it, 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 it was made to appear to them like this, that they had captured Jesus when in reality they did not. And so the Christian will also ask, okay, if they captured somebody else who looked like Jesus, very much like Jesus, what happened to Jesus then? What happened to Isa alayhi salam? The Quran has the answer. Verse 158, Allah says, This is what happened. Rather, Allah raised him up to himself. Allah raised him up as he was, alive, full of life, a human being, raised him up. Now here, the Christian will say, hold, what do you mean God raised him up? This is not possible. Scientifically, it's impossible. You just don't float into outer space like that. All right, you need spe specialized, specialized space suit and you need a special aircraft to even take you into outer space. So the argument is, this is not possible. But the verse 158, Allah answers this objection himself. Allah says, Allah says, This is the ayah, verse 158. As you notice, it's the short ayah. Allah says, That's the ayah, 158. Short verse, but it lays to rest the dispute. 
Allah says nay, Allah raised them up to himself and Allah is Aziz, he is the all-powerful, Hakim, he is the wise, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And so in the verse itself, Allah gives us the answer to the objection that raised the raising up of a human being of Isa alayhi salam. Just like that, without any special equipment or body armor, the answer is Allah has power over all things. And the interesting thing, or interesting fact, brothers and sisters, is that as I mentioned, this should not be difficult to, to believe in because this is the messenger whose whole life is full of miracles. You see, if this was the only miracle in his life, maybe people would be skeptical. But subhanAllah, there are numerous miracles before this. As I said, beginning with his birth, beginning with the fact that he spoke in, as an infant to clear the name of his mother. And then after he was commissioned as a messenger of Allah, he performed many miracles. Curing the leper, curing uh, uh, people who were bl born blind, giving life to a dead person, subhanAllah. He could even tell people the, the kind of food that they're, they're storing at home. He tells them, he, tell, he told his people, look, one of the signs that I'm a prophet of Allah is that I can tell you what is it you eat at home and what you're storing for later on. And I have come with signs, signs that I am indeed the messenger of Allah. Signs that prove the truth of what I've come with. So fear Allah and obey me. So subhanAllah, the raising up of Isa alayhi salam is just one in a series of miracles that, were, that, that happened before. And so people should not really find it difficult to believe in this miracle if they've already accepted the previous miracles. This is what is strange. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up to himself. And Allah says, وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا And indeed Allah is the, 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 the Almighty, the All-Powerful, the Wise. So he has power over all things and there is nothing that is impossible for him. And he is wise in what he does. And he knows what he's doing. And it's interesting that he would save his messenger, alayhi salam, in such a miraculous fashion. His, the beginning of his life on this planet was a miracle, his birth. And finally, at the end, when the people tried to kill him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him in the most miraculous fashion. This is the Quranic perspective, brothers and sisters, of the life of this messenger of Allah that all of us as Muslims need to know and understand and to have conviction on so that we don't waver and we're not in confusion and in doubts when a Christian person raises certain questions to us. At the very least, it, beho it behooves us as Muslims to know the Islamic perspective, to know what the Quran has to say about this. And this is what the Quran has to say about this issue. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. May He open up our hearts and minds so that we can understand this wonderful message He has revealed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala imbue in our hearts love for all His prophets and messengers and reverence and respect. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also cause us to be among those who will be raised up on the day of judgment in the company of His prophets and messengers. The, the people whom we have heard about, we have read about, and we love, and we respect, and we believe in as articles of our faith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we have never met them or seen them, but may Allah raise us all up in their company on the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us firm on the straight path. May He inspire us with the yaqeen, with the certainty of what we believe in so that we're not confused about our belief or our religion. May He give us clarity and may He remove from our hearts and our minds 
any doubts or confusions that we may have, aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.